Good morning, everybody, or good evening, or good afternoon, or good evening, <laughs> just whatever you're happening to watch this video. <clears throat> Pardon me. It's morning for me. I haven't talk, talked very much yet. Anyway, I decided to record or make for you a love. I love my storage jars. And don't love video for Big Blue for me living in big blue. What I don't like about it is that it's not my diesel heater. So yes, anybody that is looking at building out a camper van or a home in a van, or just generally if you're interested in how what it's like to live in big blue, this is the video for you. And <coughs> pardon me, oh my gosh. It might turn out to be a little bit of a long video. I don't know yet because I've just started editing. But hang in there. There's some really good things coming up for you to hear, to listen to, to see. All these different clips, different days, different times, different sceneries, different whether it's sunny or rainy or whatever it is, you're going to see it. My Wave 3 propane catalytic heater. I do love it. What I also what I don't like about it is that I have to crawl on the floor to get it started and I have to sit there and hold it. So it takes about a minute to get it going on the cold floor in the cold morning. But maybe because I have to get down on the floor and up and down, it's keeping me more agile. There's a thought. And I love sitting beside the ocean at 12.30 in the afternoon, eating my first meal of the day. What I don't love about my van is wiping the condensated edges. So hard to get up. What I love about my van is this great loft storage. What I don't love about the loft storage is having to bend way down to get under here to my toilet. And I love my Skookum cooler. Nice thick walls. What I don't love about it is it's not a fridge. I do really like my bed. I love my bed. It's very comfy. It's 30 inches wide. And I like the lengthwise of it. it. Gives me room to walk to the back to my bathroom. What I don't like about it is that it's against the wall of the van. If I would ever get a full-size van again, a different one, I would attempt to put the bed across the back and it might be 36 inches wide. Wouldn't have to be. But it would also be pulled away from the back door so that the bed clothes could drop down both sides of it. I don't love that water comes in or moisture comes in my back door. Whoops.
things I love in my van. I love my running water. I just dumped out my water, my wash water, my face wash water. But um, and then I forgot, hey, wait a minute, I should be showing you guys how I do that. See, I have a collapsible tub right here, a pail. It's nice that big, but all 99.9% of the time it stays like that. And I just dump it down and it goes, it drains out onto the ground. I'm, I am on pavement right now, which I'm usually pretty cautious about putting it on pavement, but I'm also tilted down. So it'll go into the curb and I'm right next door to a little park. So I'm not too concerned about it. There's nothing toxic or anything about the water that I put in there. Yeah, it works for me. Oh, I know. And I always wash my tub. Because silicone, and this is a real silicone one. I lucked out and got this a couple of years ago from Amazon, I think. Even before, while I was doing the van build, I found this one on Amazon, but it's pure silicone. I mean, the rim is, might have something in it, but it's really strong. It's really thick. And it's, I cannot find it again. It's no longer sold on Amazon. And I'm looking for one for my safari. And all they have is plastic, like collapsible plastic and I'll probably end up getting one but and I've tried different ones like in the stores that I've seen and they're just not the same I should show you this is a plastic one that I got from the superstore here in town um long time ago as well they don't even sell it anymore but this is basically how Amazon is selling them the hard plastic plastic and then the collapsible portion of it and it works it's great but if it was taller I'm suspecting it would be hard to collapse I'll probably end up getting one for the safari anyways I was going to show you well yeah you don't have to see it really <laughs> you know how to wipe things out but anyway you're on video so let's do it I always wipe this out because um, silicone does stain in fact in the early days of van life I wasn't washing it out nearly enough so it, it has discolored a little bit and I've tried, I think I got some out. I've scrubbed it and scrubbed it and whatnot, but now I wash it out all the time after it gets wet. And my tea just sits right there. And my kitchen is done for the road. I love that I can watch Netflix from in my bed. Yeah, I, when I started this project, I thought it would be just a quick love it and don't love it kind of a thing in Big Blue and what I, about living in Big Blue. But it turned out that I had so much to say that I got so many clips of videos that I'm going to have to put this in parts. And what you saw here was just part one. I honestly don't know at this point how many parts there will be. There'll be, part, there'll be two parts for sure, maybe even three, I don't know. <laughs> so we'll see. So I hope you you enjoyed that and get an idea of what it's like in Big Blue and living in here and just things about van living, love and don't love. 
The other thing I've been doing, which I'll mention here now, is thinking of safari and summer trips, spring trips. Last summer when I was, Kayla and I were building out safari, it was a bit of a rushed um, build because I was really trying to get it out on the road. So this spring, depending on weather here on Vancouver Island, we will continue that build. There are more counter, not counters, yeah, well, extending counter space, um, shelving in different areas that I want to put in there. I want to extend, have a little extent bed extension I want to put in there. So some good things coming up. I've got all kinds of plans, but also I've been perusing Amazon a lot because uh, last year I transferred is that the right word a lot of things from big blue to safari in order to live in it comfortably while I was traveling I want to set it up so that safari is more of a, a, a van of its own so I don't have to transfer so much back and forth there will always be some things that I have to transfer like my favorite pillows um, my CPAP things like that will have to be transferred back and forth yeah, so some exciting things coming up here that I will record and show you. Exciting for me too. I'm so looking forward to getting out on the road again. And sunny weather, warm weather. <laughs> anyway, great. I'm really looking forward to that. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please free to do so. And when you do that, click the little bell beside the subscribe button and when you click the bell, say all. That way you'll get a notification anytime I upload a video. So take care, good night, and see you in the next one.